Dresses during this time period require a shift or smock to protect the finer fabrics from contact with the body. A camisa, as it was called in the period, is a plentiful underlayer made out of sheer linen. Mine is cotton, mostly to save on cost. Now for the plentiful amount of footage on my hair process. This was done once on camera, then twice in the dress, since the process of putting on the gown would have considerably damaged my hairdo. The hair is parted in the middle, then tied and clipped back with beret. Brett's. Berets? Brett's. Okay. Then we can bring in the fake hair. I'm not sure how much fake hair was a practice within the Renaissance era, but hair pieces have gone back for a while now, so one might conjecture that this would have been the case. The piece I'm using here is a 40 inch length of Arda Wig's silky wig hair in the color Turkish coffee. Despite my fears that it wouldn't match, it actually matches my hair color beautifully. Luck of the draw, I suppose. And this is what it looks like all finished. And then the dress can go on. I'm certain this looks very peculiar and there's probably an easier way to do this, but honestly that's just how I can get into this dress on my own without any probably historically accurate uh, servants. This in particular is based off of a dress that one of my friends own, owns, as well as a dress that Morgan Donner did a long while ago. It is the turquoise dress, I'm pretty sure. Despite my love-hate relationship with this dress, I am pretty okay with how it ended up. Um, this was, while it was being made, termed the hot mess orange dress, <laughs> which Knowing all of the things that is wrong with it and what went wrong, uh, I think it's pretty deserving of that. Sleeves were obviously a thing, but because of the weather outside, and because the sleeves that I am going to make are velvet, I opted not to wear any sleeves. Mostly because it was 86 and I was already dying when we were taking the, uh, the outside shots. And here she is in all of her finished glory. So shiny. <laughs>